Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at solving linear equations with two variables. Okay, so we have two sets of equations, two equations, uh, and there's two unknowns or two variables in each equation. And we have to find a value for x and a value for y that fits and solves both equations. Uh, if you had just one equation, for example, 2x plus 3y equals 31, there's actually a, an infinite amount of values for x and y that will solve this equation. But there's also an infinite amount of values that will solve this equation. But there's only one set of values that will solve both, and we have to find out what they are. Now, what we need to do is we need to pick either the x's or the y's, and we want to get the the coefficients of them to be opposite to each other. For example, if this was plus three, we would want this to be minus three. We want them to be opposite each other. So we're gonna to have to multiply uh, one or both of these equations by some constant to make them opposite each other. I'm gonna choose the y's because they're already plus and minus. I'm gonna multiply the top equation by two and the bottom equation by three. And we'll see what happens now with the uh, with the the y's. So multiplying everything by two, I get four x plus six y equals sixty two. And multiplying everything by three, I get fifteen x minus six y equals thirty three. Now we can see that I have opposite coefficients here. I have plus 6y and minus 6y. So what happens is if I was to add these two equations together, add the x's to the x's, the y's to the y's, the constants to the constants, I'll be left with one equation with one unknown. 4x and 15x is 19x. 6y minus 6y is 0. I'm not even going to write it down. That is equal to 62 plus 33 is 95. So now I have 19x is equal to 95, which is one equation with one unknown that I can easily solve. If 19x is equal to 95, I'm going to divide both sides by 19. And I get x is equal to 5. That's my first value. And that's the value for both equations, x equal to 5. Now I need to find uh, the value for y. So I choose either of these equations. Doesn't matter which one. I can even choose one of these equations if I wanted to. But I sub in x equal to 5. So let's just take the first equation. 2 times 5 plus 3y is equal to 31. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 3y is equal to 31. Okay, I'm going to take 10 away from both sides. So I get 3y equals 31 minus 10, which is 21. Divide both sides by 3. And I get y is equal to 7. So there's my two solutions. x equal to 5, y equal to 7. If you want to check whether they work... You can sub both values in to the original equations. We get 2 times 5 plus 3 times 7. That gives us 31. We get 5 times 5 minus 2 times 7. That gives us 11. So x equal to 5 and y equal to 7 works for both of them equations. Now, this one over here uh, is a little bit trickier because we have fractions involved. Now, any time that I have fractions involved... My aim is just to get rid of the fractions uh, as soon as I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this bottom equation, the second equation, by 6, which is the lowest common denominator. So it'll be 6 times a half x plus 6 times 2 thirds y equals 6 times 8. Working this out, 6 times a half is 3, so I get 3x, plus 6 times 2 thirds, well this is 2 thirds of 6, which is 4, that's 4y, 
and then 6 times 8 is 48. So now I have this equation and this equation. And remember, I'm looking for opposite coefficients. So an easy way to get an opposite coefficient now would be to multiply this x by minus 3. So let's do that now. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 5y is plus 15y. Minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. Now I have two equations with opposite coefficients in the x's this time. So I can add together 3x minus 3x is 0. That's great. 4y plus 15y is 19y. And then 48 plus 9 is 57. Now I have 19y is equal to 57. I can divide both sides by 19. 19y divided by 19 is y. 57 divided by 19 is 3. So y is equal to 3. Now I've found my value for y. I need to just find my value for x. So I can sub this value in to any of these equations that I have here. I'm going to choose the very first one because it already has a single x on its own. So x minus 5 times 3 is equal to minus 3. So that's x minus 15 is equal to minus 3. Add 15 to both sides. x equal to minus 3 plus 15 is 12. So I get x equal to 12. So there are my two values. x equals 12. y equals 3. And if I, was, if I wanted to check those, I'll sub in 12 minus 5 times 3. So that's 12 minus 15 is equal to minus 3. That works there. A half x, so that's half of 12, which is 6, plus 2 thirds of y. Well, 2 thirds of 3 is 2, so that's 6 plus 2 is 8. So they work for both equations. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.